Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mina. I am starting a YouTube channel, obviously. I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel and I'm finally doing one. My friends and my family like closely have known that I've been wanting to do this for a while. This first video we're gonna be doing is just a welcome 2019. This is what we're going into the year with and um, some of the products that we're gonna start using on my channel. I am obsessed with makeup so we're going to be getting like tons more throughout this entire year because it's literally only January. By the time I upload this video it'll be almost February but I was like I am getting a video out we're doing it so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's head right in. All right so my birthday is kind of towards the end of last year. It's in November. So I'm gonna be basically going through a lot of products that I got from my birthday and from Christmas and things that I've just purchased like recently into the new year. And we're just gonna go ahead and check it all out. We're gonna start with um, makeup here on my channel. It is gonna be a beauty channel. So during these kinds of videos, I'm gonna take you through like even items that are beauty related, but not necessarily makeup. Um, so yeah, starting with makeup, I got this Morphe 35M palette for my birthday. My mom actually took me shopping and she was like, pick out a couple things that you want. And I was like, I have to have this. The greens are so pretty, the colors are so pretty. And yeah, there's just tons of shades. I haven't used this one yet this palette at all. Um, I'm super excited to use it and I'm sure we'll do a video in the near future. The formula is literally the exact same as all the rest of the palettes and like oh god this shade right here this purple down here so pretty. It's just so pretty there's like pinkish goldish flecks if you can see in it um, and then this green shade is calling me up top here we're gonna swatch that one too real quick and they're super super soft they're not like flaky they're not like super velvety but they're so soft it's like a goldish green very yellowy so pretty yeah all right getting into what's next for makeup I got the Alien palette for my birthday. I have already dipped into this guy. Um, my sister bought this for me for my birthday also. The colors in here are so awesome. These are by far one of my favorite formulas ever. Like I literally touch it. You can't tell obviously but I literally like what two three circles and it is so pigmented. So there's a little purple on the edge, but you can see in this one. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to make a point so I can keep the swatches coming. Love that. Next, I have the James Charles Morphe palette. It is huge. It is as big as the Morphe 39A, I believe. It's the same exact layout in here. Oh, by the way, in, in the um, Alien palette, you do get a mirror. I forgot to mention that, even though you could see it. Um, this palette, I've dipped into a bit already. A lot of these colors are super pigmented. One of my favorites, some of my favorites are, um, I really like this very first shade. I don't have the over top layer, the clear sheet that comes with it, with all the names on it. So, sorry for not having the names, but this very first shade in the palette, you can't really tell. But that's why I like it because it's like the perfect all over the lid shade to like pack on and put on while you're setting your concealer, setting your primer, or just like doing an all over shade to then have everything else blend super nicely. I really like, I believe this is Tune. It might be Face. There's um, a bunch of these larger shades and it's this second shimmer shade. It's either face or tune, I know that. And this is like one of my favorites to use as a highlighter. I don't know 
if you can see that. And then all these shades in here, I know when he came out with it, he went through this whole thing about it, people complaining because they didn't know how to use it, which sucks. But if you build them up like he tells you to, they are so pretty. And some of these shades, like this pink one down here, I actually the other day posted a picture on my Instagram using these two pink eyeshadows. And I mixed them together and I used them as blush and it was so pretty. But yeah, I'm super excited. I really want to play with the blues and greens in there too. Another thing that I got for Christmas was the Manny MUA Lunar Beauty Holiday Collection. I got the whole bundle for Christmas. My parents got this for me. This is the eyeshadow palette. This is the highlighter palette. And then I did get his three lips also right here. Love the packaging. I love the diamonds. Love the gold. Just to show you, um, I am wearing this on my um, face today. I mixed Medusa and Muse, the two center ones, for my highlight. I used Medusa for my brow bone. I used Medusa and Harpy for my inner corner. I love this. I've used three of these colors so far. I have not used Phoenix. I haven't used Sphinx or Siren. Um, because they're like deeper, but I feel like they'd be super pretty for shimmer eyeshadows, stuff like that. I genuinely, P.S., love this packaging, like the way that it feels. I love the gold, gold Medusa head, and the red eyes and the snakes is like... As far as the eyeshadow palette goes, it's the exact same packaging, just black. Um same red eyes, Medusa had everything. You do get a mirror in them too, which is super nice. Um, I'm also wearing this palette on my eyes today. I really, really enjoy the shimmer shades. One that super stands out to me is this blue one called Nemesis. Yeah, so pretty when you swatch it. It's super smoky though. Like it's really, really, really smoky. You can tell if you shift it it's like a little purple kind of but it's super gray it's like a gray blue it looks like it would be like tealy when you put it on but i put it on the center of my lids going for a halo eye and you'll have to watch my next video to figure out how all of that turned out as far as his shadows go they're super creamy they blend super nicely i do have his life's a drag palette also um and i really enjoy that one too and then as far as his lips go, they're called liquid lips, but even in his announcement video, his reveal, he described how they don't completely dry down, so they are basically velvet liquid lips, which is not a liquid lip because it doesn't completely dry down. This red shade is so pretty. It's like the perfect, very cool, um, cool toned red. I love it. This one is Zaya. That one was, sorry, Aphrodite. This next shade is Zaya, and this is what I'm wearing today as well. Super, super pretty. Good for all skin tones. Um, and then I topped it off with his lip gloss in Celine, I believe. Yeah, Celine. And this is what that looks like. I love all of these so much. There's all of them, as you can see. The gloss is like sheerish, but it has like a peachy pinky undertone with a little like shimmer. It would be really pretty over like anything. Um, yeah, so there's that as far as makeup. I also got this cute little bag from Jeffree Star. His tote in white, sorry it's holding like a ton of my makeup right now. My dad and stepmom got me this for Christmas and I love the white. I also got his white handheld mirror and it's got like shimmer, a shift to it if you can tell. There's glitter in it but I love using it like for up close and I super love as you'll be able to see in my videos drying like my setting sprays and such with the mirror. It gives a lot of wind. So he has four lip ammunitions, and then eight liquid lips. I swatched them all because I 
and psycho like that and as soon as i get something i have to touch it and swatch it um but yeah the first shade is <clears throat> ysotp it is this blue shade super pretty super different super cool i believe when this one dries down there's like little specks of glitter in this one i believe i'll let you know there's that one and then the next shade is hi how are ya i thought it was going to be like this super super bright cool toned red and it seems to look a little bit more berry which is totally cool no big deal but it's more like pinky undertoned like hot pink sort of and this one does have the flex in it when it dries down but yeah more berry than red but still super pretty next one is clout and it is a metallic it's like a metallic lavendery silver it's really cool i think it's super pretty um for like something different oh it's really pretty like on camera the next shade is Jeffrey Who, and this one is more of a mauve type of pinky situation. That's totally mauve, definitely, I'd say. The next shade is um, Triggered. It's like a deep plum. I'll do this on the side and then we'll go under. But yeah, there's that one. Super pretty. That would be like so pretty for like your grungy, very wintry, fally type of look. The next shade is Scandal. It's really pretty. It is a pinky, I wouldn't say pinky nude, but it's definitely not nude. It's like more pink than it is nude. I actually had this on in that photo I was talking about that I posted on Instagram. That I did an all pink look it was like pink red and orange was the theme that one has flecks of glitter when it dries down this next shade is karma and it's that like army green color it has like a mustard undertone kind of this looks like straight up like baby diarrhea but I like it I don't know I'm weird it would be super cool actually if you used it as like an eyeliner or something yeah that would be really cool actually this one is can't relate one of the nudist ones like most nude out of the bundle this one is more of a peachy nude definitely peach this one right here so there's all of the liquid lips I um love literally love all of the colors. I think all of them would be really pretty. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Clout, the metallic purpley lavender silver thing going on, that would be really pretty as an eyeliner too. Cool. Some of them will stain a little bit, but nothing harmful. It's totally fine. That's liquid lips. Next, we've got his lip ammos. I literally love this packaging. I love white. Area 51 is this one. My hands are getting really nasty. It's green. It's shimmery. It starts out sheer, but you could totally build it up. Like, I'm building it up right now. I think this is so pretty. I just love greens, which obviously I'm wearing green today. This one is like a white, clear... Um, Alien Tears, it actually, I've swatched this one, and it comes out to have, like, a very pinky, glittery sheen to it. I like it a lot. But if you tilt it certain ways, you can see, like, the silvery, goldy flex, too. It's cool. Next shade is Galaxy Gold, which is straight up gold. The gold version of Alien Tears, basically. There's that one. The gold. As you can see... And then next, this is the last one, is Beam Me Up. And this one is a rose gold champagne-y, pinky situation. It's definitely more rosy gold than um, Alien Tears, but this one is more, like, peachy, goldy, pinky. It's just really pretty. 
Okay, my camera cut out for some reason, but um, I left off talking about Beam Me Up was the last shade, and it's this one, the last. But I was saying how any of these lip ammos would look so pretty over any of his liquid lips or any other liquid lips that you have. Super cute. Next, I've got this Kylie liquid lip. It's actually lip gloss, it's not liquid lip. And I got it at Ulta when I bought myself the Morphe James Charles palette. This is super pretty, super gold. It's like champagne -y, not gold. I have worn it, it's very glittery, but it's not uncomfortable glitter where you can like feel the grit. It's very, very pigmented right there. Sweet. I also have in here, my sister got me Kylie's Head Over Heels liquid lip kit. My mom and her sisters both have this shade and they're always like, oh my gosh, this is the best shade ever. And it literally looks different on all of them. My cousin has also tried this on and it looks so different on her. It just looks like so different on everyone, which most things do, but this color looks very, very plummy on my aunt. And on me, it looks very mauve like a darker, deeper, purpley mauve. Um, and it does come with a lip liner, which I've never tried her lip liner, so I'm excited to try this out. But here is the lip liner. Right there, next to it. This is so awkward, I don't know why I did that. But yeah, it looks very creamy, very soft. Yeah, I'm excited to try that. Okay, my sister also got me the Court Collection, the blue one. The shades are, ugh. there's a goldy one, a bronzy one, and then this orangey, terracotta-y shade, and then this deep, deep plum. I will go ahead and swatch this gold one. I've already swatched them because like I said, I'm crazy. They're super nice though, super pigmented. They seem to blend out really nicely. I haven't actually used them for a look or anything yet. And then I also got, it comes with the Court Liquid Lip in the shade Rad. It's like this very, very orangey red liquid lip. It's so pretty. But if you don't like orangey ones, then I don't think you would like this one. But I feel like this would make your teeth look super white. And this packaging is literally so cute. I love the blue. I think it's really cute, actually. That is that for the Kylie stuff. Now that we're switching brands again, I will wipe her off. My skin is going to be dyed. Okay, back to Jeffree Star, I did by myself this, and I haven't used it on my face yet. I did use it on a friend. We did like a photo shoot, and I did hit up her collarbones and her shoulders and her chest and that whole situation. Um, this is the Liquid Frost in the shade Frostbite, I believe. Yes. You literally don't need a lot of this, like at all. I also bought this for my friend for her belated birthday gift, and... She loved it. My sister also has two shades. There we go. Yeah, she is so cute and so blinding. The formula is super nice. It blends out really nicely. Um, it does leave a little shimmer behind, but that's fine. It doesn't bother me. And then, let me see. Is there something wrong with me? Okay, well, I got the... Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette also, and I believe that I left it at home because I did that pink, red, orange look. But yeah, go ahead and check out that photo I posted on my Instagram. My Instagram is just Mina Dragasic. It is so pretty, so pigmented, so blendable. Um, the shimmers in there are butter. His formula is literally so good. I don't know how he does it. Just a couple Morphe glosses that my mom got me while we went shopping for my birthday. This one is Freestyle. I love that sound. It's very nudey, browny, especially on me because I'm so fair. 
and there's like two layers quickly two layers they're just so wet and so shiny oh they look like ice like literally ice this one is boho and i did have this one before i just purchased another one because i use it so much this one is your very like peachy pinky nude just like really pretty over top and i love that they have actual color rather than being sheer because then it just i don't know it just makes your lips look so juicy and so like full and wet okay um next continuing with morphe i got their i forget what the set was called um let me look it up actually really quick just so that i can be sure the molten magic 12 piece lip collection it was 19 dollars they are literally so nice they have all these different shades this one is mesmerize and they're all like super shimmery this one is so pretty i freaking love this one it's like so girly to me and it's like i feel like you could put this on a nude you could put this on a pink on a purple super pretty i'm so hungry you guys so hungry but I am determined. I literally was like, okay, I filmed already one video last night. I know this is the first one that I'm going to be putting out. But I filmed one video last night, one video before this on this makeup look. So you'll be catching that one after I post this one. And I just was like, I have to get these out before I do anything else. Even eat. Okay, and then I did get a lip topper. And this is Saint Tropez by Jouer. I do have Skinny Dip too. But that one is in my room at my house. Also, you can totally feel the glitter in these lip toppers. But it doesn't bother me because of the look that it gives. And then that is all of my lip stuff, I believe. Moving on to eyes real quick. I do have some new eye stuff. Um, besides the eyeshadow palettes that we've gone over. I got the eye metals let me look up what they're called exactly just so i know what the heck well they are the morphe eye maybe it doesn't say metallic eyeshadow it's like the eye metals they come in a bundle this shade is poppin it's straight up silver it's very like new year's easy once you apply them they do dry they don't stay wet wet there's the silver. This one is Flare. And it is a coppery bronzy with silver glitters in it. There's that one. Then there is this one called Days. This one looks to be champagne, I feel. Yeah, it totally is. But you can still see that they have the silver glitter undertone. These kind of, by swatching them, I haven't used these yet, um, remind me of the Stila glitters. This next one is Flicker. It's black. Just a black, like, charcoal -y, But it's so black that it kind of looks greenish. It might have gold. That might be why it's going a little green. Um, this one is Ignite, and this one is like a goldy green, I feel. Yeah. Pretty. That one's actually really pretty. That would look pretty with this jacket. This one is Fuego, so it's a very, like, fiery red. Like a fired, fiery copper. Right there. Sweet. So those are those eye metals. Yeah. So moving on to eyeshadows. I was at Target. When was I at Target? Literally yesterday, you guys, before I was going to film this video. And I, for the longest time, when it was like all the hype, wanted to try Makeup Geek so bad. And like Manny did his collab with Makeup Geek. And I wanted to buy it. And it was cool when I was like in high school. That was like four years ago, maybe. Four or five years ago. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I want to try their shadows. I want to see how their products are. And I never bought anything because I was like, I'm not going to buy them. But 
I was at Target yesterday and they have these little shadow quads. They have three different color schemes. This one is Infatuation and they're just like these little shadow quads. So cute. So we're going to play with these two. This one is called Vivacious. It's got like the purple. And then there's this one that's called Bronze Solstice. And I actually dipped into this one yesterday already. So there will be a video coming on this look. And stay tuned because I really loved it actually. I also at Target, these lashes are Violet Voss lashes. And I didn't even know that they had them at Target. Right now I'm wearing the style I Do Not Care. This is the makeup look that will be coming after this video so stay tuned because these are the lashes i also bought myself sorry it's kind of messy right now but i did buy myself the jaclyn hill morphe brushes set when they came out so that is like newer that we'll be working with okay so i think that's it for makeup really going into some non-makeup related things but still beauty products i got some perfumes for Christmas and I really wanted to tell you guys about them. The first one is the Stella McCartney one. I usually have the Stella McCartney one in the scent pop and it's like pink and silver I think but this one's this purple one. I really don't know what it's called but it's Stella McCartney. So so delicious. It's like fruity kind of very flirty. I love it. Also very famous um, Marc Jacobs Daisy. I really love this one. I love this packaging. Um, then I also did get myself the Kim K Crystal fragrance. The Kim KW Crystal in Gardenia. I have used it considering it is halfway already. Um, it is literally, I think, my favorite scent ever right now. The amount of compliments I've gotten on this, you guys. I wore this story time really quickly. My aunt just turned 50 and we threw her a surprise party. And so I wore this and I was going around saying hi or whatever. And her husband, my uncle, was like, oh my gosh, honey, you smell so good today. He's like, that's beautiful. What are you wearing? I was like, oh, it's just a new perfume that I got. And um, he was like, oh my God, if you ever go on a date, if I ever go on a date, oh well. I was like if you ever go on a date you have to wear that and I also got I don't have it but I got my sister the body fragrance the one where it's Kim K's body mold and um that one smells so good and she gets compliments on that all the time um something else I also got this is beauty related um I don't know who got me this I totally forgot and I know that sounds freaking terrible my family is so large and I have blended families so I forget but this looks so awesome. I think I'm going to take my makeup off today and try this out. But it's um, Mask Bar and it's got silver foil sheet mask, silver foil peel off mask, and charcoal hydrogel eye mask, which I've never used eye masks before. And my mom and I have been dying to do that. So we'll try that out and I will get back to you on that one. And then I also, my aunt gave me this cute little um, beauty like eye mask. It's jelly and you could put it in the freezer or the fridge and it's super cute, like super cute. I've never like been the one to purchase stuff like this, but yeah, it's super cute. Um, so there's that that I got. And then she also gave me this and she gets the FabFitFun box and she like doesn't use half of her things. So she, gave me some of them. Um, this is the Aromatherapy Associates London De-Stress Muscle Gel. Focusing and soothing. It smells so good. I've already smelled it. I haven't used it yet. It's super high quality and it's full size. So if you are looking at the FabFitFun box, you get all full size products, which my mom gets, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> and then I do, as you can see, have curly hair. Some of the hardest, like, things to do is find products that actually work. Like, some are just, like, they make my hair too crunchy or they make my hair too dry. Or recently, I found this product by Cantu, and it's just this tub. I don't know if you can see. 
yeah, there you go. And it has argan oil in it. And it's a leave-in conditioning repair cream. It says that it deeply moisturizes to protect hair from damage, formulated for overheated, overstyled hair. And um, my hair is naturally dark. It's not naturally this color. But I did go and get my hair bleached and highlighted and balayaged. And I just wasn't feeling it anymore. And so I dyed this over it. And so obviously my hair has been damaged. I was looking for something that I could just hydrate my hair and kind of be a mask. And this seems to be doing the job. Like it makes my hair super curly, super bouncy. And like I get the curls underneath. Like it's so nice. And it smells so good. If you guys know what argan oil smells like, it's so good. Um, and then I did buy myself a camera. A camera? A candle from Target. And it's like this cute little like teapot thing. And the scent is rosewood cedar. Oh, I haven't lit this one yet because the smell is so strong and because I really like it for decorations in my room on like my side table. Um, but with that, I also bought these matches um, at Target. And they're cute because they match. Like, they're all pink. And my mom has them in blue with a blue candle. So, yeah, it's super cute. Yeah, okay. And then one more section of, like, beauty is clothing really quickly before we go into clothing just because they're right here i did get these key the q u a y brand key um sunglasses by jacqueline hill they are so cute this is a style very busy and i got the chain with it for christmas too i also got the, another style what style is this this is roxanne love these i haven't actually worn them yet so yeah i feel like they'd be super cute with this outfit with the studs and no chain and they all came with these cheetah print cases which i literally love because they're so cute now we can head into clothing so like i said my aunt got me all this she like gave me her fab fit fun stuff this cute little poncho it's not little but and it doesn't go with my outfit right now but it's really cute and it's freezing here so I'm gonna wear it soon and it just is like super cute and it's soft I think the brand is does it have a tag oh it does okay it is the brand is BB Dakota I also got this jacket from Target and I also got this it's a long sleeve t-shirt and it was on clearance and it was literally five dollars and i was like oh my gosh this would go this t-shirt would be so cute with that jacket for my video so that's what i did staying on the topic of target for clothing i also got this one sweater that i'm you'll probably see me wear um this brand is like everything it's wild fable and it's just like a crew neck sweatshirt but it's loose I just think it'll be cute last thing um is i went to walmart and they are really really pulling up in their game i know you're gonna think like oh my god she shops at walmart but like i literally don't care if it's cute it's cute and they were on sale mind that one of my favorite colors to wear is mustard so i got it in mustard and it's super cute. It's like long and like so soft. And oh my god, there is a freaking snag in it. So guess who's got to go back to Walmart? Yep, me in the freezing cold. Glad we figured that out. But anyway, I got it in mustard. I'm going to go back. I know they still have them because I was just there grocery shopping yesterday. This was like $17 and then I got it for $13. And then I also, I'm a huge like green color, like literally any type of green. And I got it in green also. Super cute. And I can't wait to wear them. But yeah. So that concludes this video, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, I had literally so much fun making this video. I was kind of nervous. Like, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know. Will I be like weird because i'm not literally not talking to anybody over there it's kind of fine it's fine and i'm really excited about like putting this out there and i know as the videos go on like they'll get much much better and like more cohesive and fluid and all that stuff i just feel really good about this and i know like i'm gonna be growing on this journey and through this process but i'm 
so ready to be making this channel and so ready to be doing this with you guys and for you guys. And I hope that you enjoy everything from this video on out. And if you guys have any, any things you want me to try, whether it's like hair products for curly hair or you're like, oh my god, this candle or this skincare. If you have any suggestions, like literally just drop me in the comments below and let me know because I always want to try new stuff. Like I said, had so much fun videotaping this for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share this video. Um, help me get my name out there. Um, subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell so that you know when I'm posting a video. And tell all your friends. I hope this is a place where you can come to where you're like relaxing or I want to go and watch one of Mita's videos or I want to go leave her a comment and let her know that she should do this or try this or I want to see this type of look. Like literally anything. I'm really open to suggestions. I'm really ready. I'm really excited. I know I've said that a hundred thousand times. But yeah, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Um, I hope you come here every time I post a new video. Yeah, this was so much fun. Literally so much fun. Um, and a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one. So, peace and blessings.